So let me just make a disclaimer. All these athletes that I will be mentioning today are in no chronological order whatsoever. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Agao Akul. I post self-development videos every Monday. I also post lifestyle and beauty videos on Saturday, hence why I'm posting this video today. So thank you for tuning in once again. I appreciate your love and your support. I appreciate the fact that you guys are interacting with me. I see you guys in the comments. I see you guys liking my videos and I am so happy and I'm so grateful that I have such supportive small community or should I say supportive growing community which of course leads to the big question. Have you subscribed yet? If not, then hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to receive a notification. If you don't know this, I am on the road to reaching 1,000 subscribers and I know that each and every single subscriber counts. We are now almost at 700 subscribers. Can you believe it? Like, <laughs> we are growing and I'm just so happy. So thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. And if you are a returning subscriber, it's my OG. I appreciate you. Shout out to you guys. You guys are the best. Thank you for tuning in once again. And of course, let's just get straight to today's topic, which if you have read the title of the video is... <laughs> yes, the South Sudanese athletes. Let me just refer you to last week's video, which is about the top South Sudanese supermodels, which I will link up here if you haven't watched it then check it out whereby i spoke about different south sudanese models that i like and i'm a big fan of of course south sudanese have been doing such a great job representing all of us so i have made a list of five athletes whom i'm going to talk about in this video and if you're interested keep on watching so let me just make a disclaimer all these athletes that i will be mentioning today are in no chronological order whatsoever. I decided to talk about these athletes because I personally love seeing other South Sudanese representatives very well. And the first person in my list today is, you guessed it, Luol Deng Obi. If you are a South Sudanese and you are a fan of basketball, you definitely know Luol Deng. He is a professional basketball player who retired recently. He's been in the NBA since 2004 and he's been representing South Sudanese in such a big way. I have met him personally. He's very ambitious. He's a part of different charity organizations and of course I have to read about his achievements on Wikipedia so that I don't butcher anything. Your girl has to be accurate. Paul Deng is a South Sudanese British former professional basketball player. He was a two-time NBA All-Star and was named to be NBA All-Defensive second team in 2012. Born in what is now known as South Sudan, Dane fled the country with his family as a child, eventually settling in the United Kingdom. He became a British citizen in 2006 and has played for the Great Britain national team. Now let's just talk about his professional career. Luol Deng has been playing for the Chicago Bulls from 2004 to 2014. Now that is a whole decade. He's been reigning, of course, he's an amazing basketball player. Then starting from 2014 to 2016, he played for the Miami Heat and from 2016 to 2018, he played for the LA Lakers. Whereby after that, from 2018 to 2019, he played for Minnesota Timberwolves. The reason why I mentioned Noel Deng as the first South Sudanese athlete that deserved to be mentioned is because after his retirement, he went back to South Sudan whereby he became the president and the lead coach in South Sudan Basketball Federation. He's been doing such a wonderful job with National South Sudan Basketball 
team he has his own organization that is the Luo Ding Foundation of which he has built the Minute Bowl basketball court in South Sudan so what I love about this is that the South Sudanese women have a basketball team I really love it when women are supported and women are a part of such a huge movement what Luo Ding is doing is literally a movement because he's supporting the young people the youngsters and he is there to catch the raw talent and also to lift the South Sudanese to perform better to guide them and to be there for South Sudanese so that South Sudanese can represent us even more that is something that I am really proud of so shout out to the basketball team they're currently in Rwanda then of course you should follow the South Sudan Basketball Federation page on Instagram I will link it over here because they deserve the love and the support they're doing such a great job they're an upcoming team so that is why Luol Ding is the first one in my list second person that I decided to put in this list is a female and she has been doing very well performing so well against all odds and that is Rose Natike Lokonye. she represented South Sudan in the Olympics as part of the refugee team let me just tell you a little bit about Rose Natike Lokonye. so Rose Natike Lokonye was selected by the International Olympics Committee to compete for the refugee Olympic team in the women's 800 meters at the 2016 Summer Olympics in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. The refugee Olympics team was the first Olympics team in history. Lokanyan was one of the five athletes on the refugee team born in South Sudan and was a team flag bearer at the opening ceremony. Natike finished seventh in her first round heat. She also completed the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Now if that is is not inspiring that what is despite the difficulties that she's facing as a refugee she decided to focus her energy and to train so that she can make her dreams come true it's really an inspiring story because we know that there are definitely so many different refugees not only from South Sudan but different parts of the world who would look up to her and say if she can do it I can do it the third person that I would like to speak on in this list is on maker if you are a South Sudanese, then you definitely know that maker name it has been butchered because it's Don Makir. As a South Sudanese, I know that name is pronounced as Makir. But Don Makir is a professional basketball player. He joined the NBA in 2016. At that time, he was 19 years of age, which is really inspiring. The fact that he was so young and he's doing such a great job representing South Sudan. So let me just tell you a little bit about Thon Makir, Maker, Thon Marial Maker. Makir is a South Sudanese Australian professional basketball player. He attended Orangeville District Secondary School and played basketball in Canada's Athletes Institute. He was picked at number 10 in 2016 NBA draft and he played for three different NBA teams between 2016 and 2021. Wow. So let us just talk about the teams that he has been playing for since the time that he was drafted. So in 2016 to 2019, he played for the Milwaukee Bucks. And in 2019 to 2020, he was playing for the Detroit Pistons. From 2020 to 2021, he played for the Cleveland Cavaliers. You know what really inspires me is that he's such a young guy and despite the difficulty and the odds, he's representing. And the fourth person in my list is Athiang Mo. Athiang Mo is an athlete, she's a runner, she's been doing so well in the Olympics and I am just so happy as a South Sudanese to speak about her and also as a female because she's representing us so well. Let me just tell you a little bit about Atiyeng Mo. So she was born in June 8, 2002 as an American South Sudanese middle distance runner. So at the age of 19, she won a gold medal in 800 meters at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, breaking the national record set by Angie Wilson in 2017 and the continental under 20 record. I am really happy and inspired the fact that South Sudanese are out there breaking records and not only are they dominating in the fashion industry, especially the South Sudanese females are getting into sports and they're doing such a wonderful job. I'm so proud of her. I, I first heard about her on Instagram and of course I had to know who is this 
South Sudanese girl. Although she was born and raised in America, she has a South Sudanese heritage. Both her parents are from South Sudan and her parents fled South Sudan during the time of war and they, and they resettled in the US. When I watched her video on YouTube, she was very confident in describing herself and describing how she worked hard for you to win gold in the Olympics. That means you must work hard and you must put in the effort of what she did. So let's go to the last person in my list can you guess is it a male or a female if you said a female you are right I know that I'm leaving some of the points out and if you know some of these athletes then please leave a comment down below tell me more about them what is it that inspires you what is it that you like about them and you can also share different South Sudanese athletes that have been representing us in a big way because I would love to know that and also if you like this video then give it a thumbs up give it a like guys because if you like this video it's good for my algorithm is going to reach more people. Let's go to the fifth person, Adut Bulgak. She was born in December 28th, 1992. She is a retired South Sudanese Canadian professional basketball player in the Women's National Basketball Association, that is the WNBA. And she was drafted in 2016 to the New York Liberty. Bulgak played juco ball in Trinity Valley College. Not only that, she played for the Florida State University before she played for the WNBA. The reason why I chose Adud Bulgak is the fact that she is a role model to a lot of South Sudanese girls who want to join the NBA and a lot of South Sudanese girls who are playing basketball. So I did know much about her, but after I watched her video on YouTube, I was really inspired because she's working to encourage and inspire other young South Sudanese athletes. She is working with South Sudanese, which is a very big deal because I feel like South Sudanese female athletes need more support because we have so much potential and the fact that she is taking herself outside her comfort zone despite the fact that she has been to the top she's going back home she's going back to her roots she's helping a lot of South Sudanese girls and who wouldn't want that it is very inspiring and if you have any more information about Adud Bulgak and you know her then comment down below because I am truly interested in knowing what she does and I would like to speak more about this so that is it for today's video if you like this video then please give it a big like like my video guys comment and also share my video so that more people can get to know about this video and more people can get to know about the South Sudanese athletes and lastly very very importantly please subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on your notifications to receive a notification every time i upload a new video so i upload new videos every saturdays and i will see you guys next time bye bye